Welcome to Zoho Sites. In this video you'll see how to map your existing domain to zohosites.com. Suppose you've registered a domain with godaddy.com. You can still use the same domain on Zoho Sites. The process of connecting them is called domain mapping. And it's not a very straightforward process, but the step-by-step -step procedure shown in this video should help. Now the first thing you need to do is log into your domain vendor homepage and in this case it's godaddy.com. Click on login and give in your username and password. Once you've done that you'll find a my account button on the left hand side. Click on it. The screen that you now see will have all the domains you have purchased with godaddy.com. So expand it and find a list of all your domains. All you need to do now is pick the domain you want to map to your website and click on the launch button beside it. The screen that you now see is the domain administrative control or your dashboard and here is where you can make all the changes to your settings. If you scroll down a little, you'll find DNS manager with a launch link below it. Click on launch. Okay, now the process of mapping your domain is done in two steps. You need to update two fields on the screen. One is the A record or A host and the second is CNAME. Now, the commonly used term is a record in uh, most domain vendor sites, but um, some like godaddy.com like to use a host instead. They're all the same though. Click on a host and type in the value 74.201.154.208. Once you've done that, Move to CNAME where you'll find a lot of parameters. Ignore everything save for the last one and against www you type in zhs.zohosites.com. Once you've done that, save and log out. Now it generally takes up to one to two hours for the changes to come into effect but on rare occasions it could take up to 48 hours and there's nothing you and I can do about it because it completely depends on the domain vendor so um, all we can do is wait and watch and should you have any trouble configuring the changes just contact your domain vendor give them the values of the two fields that's uh, the a host and c name fields and they should be able to help you out with it thanks for watching